Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to stabilize materials before working uh, with them. Um, I'm going to use a vacuum uh, uh, chamber that I built in one of my previous videos. You can see the way you can build the, the vacuum chamber simply and easily. And this time I'm going, we're going to stabilize some dinosaur bone and some uh, fossilized wood. Uh, but you can use the same uh, procedure with any other material, porous material like wood and other stuff that has crevices in a way that uh, the, um, the resin can fill them up, strengthen up the material itself, make it solid and if you have to polish it afterwards uh, you're not going to have too many problems with the crevices and the cracks because uh, the polish is going to occur on, on, the, on the resin itself, on the hardened resin. So stay tuned, stay with me during the whole procedure and yeah, let's start with it. This is the material that we're going to stabilize. Dino bone. This is another fossil. So dino bones. And this is another fossil as well. And then I got also some uh, fossilized wood. We're going to stabilize this too. Okay, so we put it in a container. as flat as possible to use the least of the material. Okay, let's take off also the labels. All right, we put it in a, in a container as flat as possible. So we are going to use the least, the least of the resin. And then we have the resin. It's epoxy, so it's two components. Uh, this is very liquidy one. It's a German make. And then you got the hardener here. And uh, the ratio is four parts of the resin on one part of the hardener. This is very liquidy, and I'm gonna show you the way it looks into the container. I'm going to have also uh, something in plastic to steer it, in this case is a, it's a knife, it's a plastic knife. We're going to have a container, a plastic container to waste. I'm going to measure four parts of the resin and one part of the hardener, enough, just enough to cover our stones. It. This is the resin. In the container. One. Three. And four. Okay, we want to put one measurement of hardener, as you see. It has to be thoroughly mixed. I suggest to make it in an open space in the way that this smell 
I'm not gonna smell this smell. <laughs> so I mix it really well. You can see it's quite a thin. It's very thick. Then when you're happy, you put slowly, slowly the, the stones that you gotta fill up inside. Like this, down, big one as a base. Yeah, even if you're scared that uh, maybe the mix is not enough, you will see that the stones themselves they're gonna take plenty of space, and uh, so the the volume will rise. The level of the of the resin will rise. What I want to do is to actually dip them and keep them under the level, so I will not get, add too many. Just vacuum it and then set them aside to set. All right. So okay, this one can put can be inserted in the vacuuming chamber, and then we, we do the vacuum. We do this slowly, we don't want to splatter it everywhere. You can see already the bubbles developing into the material as the air comes out. Now we're going to slow down a little bit. We don't want to, the, this material to overflow. now is getting rid of all the air we are degassing the resin Minus 98 kilopascals. After so much sparkling as will settle, we're gonna just go to 100 mi minus 100 kilopascals. So also the crevices in silver crystals will get rid of the of the air, and as we will release the the pressure again, the, the vacuum again, those crevices will not have any other choice than getting filled with uh, resin. So it's, we're going to stabilize the material, whatever material we're going to put inside. See it's slowly, slowly subsiding. Yep. Close a little bit more the, the vacuuming to speed up a bit. Well, 10 minutes has passed, you see it slowed down a lot even though I closed completely all the valves so it's it's like going to complete vacuum inside see you can see it's 99 minus 99 kilopascals 100 almost and uh, yeah you see that it slowed down a lot apparently the mixture will set in half an hour so we just have to uh, release the vacuum in the way the crevices will fill up.
That's it. So they're going to rest on this plastic for the next three days. To let it harden. You know, we know we interrupted the vacuuming earlier because it seems that on the instructions it states that um, it requires half an hour to set a little bit harder, and we want it really, really liquid so that they can uh, penetrate deep inside of a material. In any case, it was not making much bubbles anymore from a material, but it was bubbling out of itself. So we should be fine with that, what we're doing. Okay, and then now we replace it. We replace this one with others, other pieces, since we have it already there. We use it. Okay, it's also wood. Material that yeah, we we'll make a cover. Okay. Because another batch is ready, so let's switch on the pump. Too much bubbling now, only from the stones, maybe. So not from the materials, so not from the, from the uh, not from the resin itself. So you can see that there are plenty of bubbles from the material. That means that the water, the air trapped inside of the crevices is coming out. Yeah, as this all this uh, will subside, we'll just release the pressure again, so we can make another batch again. We try to optimize the material, the, the resin. It has subsided a little bit, so we're going to release the valve. So this is the time that, that uh, the resin will penetrate inside. I'll pick him up. Okay, this is the fourth day. I don't think it's going to get any harder than this. Got a nice shine, and I guess all the porosity got clogged by the, the resin. So that's the way you stabilize probably anything from dinosaur bone to wood, fossilized wood, whatever has a porosity inside and you want to work. Okay, it's very nice, I like it. It's also easier to show to the customers what would be the final uh, result once polished for every single stone. See ya. Okay, that's all for today and I hope that it helped many of you or maybe clarify some doubts uh, about these kind of procedures and uh, yeah, if you have any questions or if you want to comment, feel free to comment, subscribe if you like and like if you like and God bless you and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye bye.